Welcome to the future of mankind. Where you may be watching a synthetic video, eating synthetic food and testing your drugs in synthetic way. Well, truth be told, many of things are becoming truth today. But what if I tell you that a lot many things are about to happen in the next 12 months. So today in this video, we are going to talk about top AI in biology and biotechnology trends, which you must know as a bio professional and that will help you strategize for the future. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one fact before I get started, it's going to be exciting. Now, why do I say that? Because more than 10 plus companies got funded in AI in drug discovery, AI in biology and the way things are coming up, it seems like miracle. Tomorrow, you might be drinking milk, which, is, which was created out of thin air. You might be uh, drinking water, which was created out of thin air. You might be eating food, which is not grown in the farm, but in the lab. And your heart might be also living inside a computer. Hold on. Is that true? Yes, that's true. So we are going to talk about top 10 trends in AI in biology, which is going to impact all these things. And of course you and I, right? So are you excited? If the answer is yes, let's comment below. I am excited so that we will come together and build a future which is better and more healthier than the previous ones. All right. So without wasting time, the first one which I have for you is AI driven drug discovery design. Hey, we have talked about this a lot, but did you know that AI powered drugs are already in clinical trials? Yes, that's right. Now, there's a company called Existentia, which has utilized AI to automate drug discovery process, leading to more efficient development cycles. So recently, I reached out to one of my mentors and you must have seen him uh, in the first episode of Legends of Biotech. His name is uh, Dr. Subramaniam Bangla. He is a drug discovery specialist. And I asked him that what if tomorrow companies do not disclose that this particular drug was discovered through AI? But uh, just as a trade secret and they launch it in the market. He laughed and said, well, that's not possible because FDA is going to find it and they'll have to disclose it. But one thing is definitely going to happen and that is the speed at which drugs will be launched into the clinical research. And that is why AI in biology is going to empower clinical research now. Clinical research jobs are going to get a boom because more drugs are going to get out of the pipeline into clinical research. Well, that's a good news. And that's what is going to happen in 2025. That's the latest trends I'm telling you. Moving forward, the second one is going to really amaze you. In fact, I was really intrigued when I heard of this news. And this is your digital twin living inside a computer. Well, science fiction, right? Hold on. That's truth. What if before a stent is put into your heart, a digital twin heart of yours is living inside a computer and the doctor will put in there and see how the heart responds, whether a stent is required or not. So digital twins of humans will be there, virtual replicas of biological systems or organs created by AI and to simulate real world predictable behaviors. So in drug development, digital twins will come handy. Because we no longer need to do cl clinical research on a human first, we'll first do it in his digital twin and find out how the human organ is going to behave or respond to a drug and thereby enhancing its safety, efficacy for new treatments. So it's like, okay, the AI is uh, discovering the drug and then the AI twin we are testing on and then only it goes for clinical trial. Wow. This is amazing, right? So now, this technology allows for personalized medicine approach. This technology ap applies for comprehensive testing in multiple populations at the same time, since it is virtual, can be done uh, at the snap of a finger and it will save a lot of lives. So recently, we got a, a contract from our Swedish partners and now we have projects on cancer and HIV. And we are going to do this. We are working on uh, brain computer interface now. Biotechnica scientists are working on BIC. All the details of our projects are given in the description. In case you are interested to do internship at Biotechnica, you are most welcome to work in an international project and work on cutting edge technologies. 
trending technologies which is revolutionizing the world of biotech so now the third prediction or the third trend which is which we are seeing now is very interesting ai in protein structure prediction now ai models such as deep mind alpha fold has predicted protein structures in the past also uh, from acid sequences now this advancement aids in understanding of biological processes and accelerates the development of novel therapeutics by providing insights into protein functions interactions docking and everything and this is validated by various pharma and biotech companies so this is the future guys ai predicting the protein structure and that's going to be a huge boom in terms of medicine and nutraceuticals followed by that now the work which we are doing one more thing i'll tell you cancer requires tailor made treatment that's what we are working on using cancer genomics so personalized medicine using ai now ai is actually analyzing us to go through the individual genetic makeup of the person and then we it is allowing us to tailor make the treatment specific to the patient and then we can integrate genomic data like i said cancer genomics ai can predict disease risk and treatment responses this will lead to effective and personalized healthcare solutions and startups like zoe are leveraging ai to provide personalized nutrition advice also to individuals with their health data you know you are wearing those smart watches right i'm not you are so these smart watches are collecting data now based on that data it will give you the uh, individualized healthy plan for, so that you can stay healthy personalized health data so far we have seen four trends all of them are going to be a billion dollar opportunity for each person out there who is watching this video so i'm positive that if anybody is making a career in ai in biology they are going to nail it okay usa lot of funding coming in europe we are seeing lot of funding coming in india indian government is spending a lot on ai in biology lot of projects are coming up lot of job vacancies are coming up lot of demand for python are trained individuals but having an understanding of biology is there and we are placing our students there so if you are interested all you have to do is click the link below and go for it all right so without wasting much time now let's move on to the next one where illumina is also working and that is amazing that is ai power diagnostics remember those x rays doctor used to see and say hey this happened to you right what if you don't need a radiologist you just have to put that scan that x ray into ai and it will just analyze and tell you with diagnostic accuracy by analyzing the medical images of millions of people it can just say what exactly happened it might find things which the doctor missed right because ai has genetic data ai has the bioimaging now and then you have the electronic health records also available ehr so what if we can combine all these three and then we can detect uh, diseases at a early stage so for example ai algorithm can now identify patterns in medical imaging that may be indicative of conditions like breast cancer enabling earlier and more accurate diagnosis like i said cancer means you have to diagnose beforehand otherwise the person in the last stage cannot be saved right so that is where we can have ai powered diagnostics saving so many lives isn't that great wow so that's another trend the fifth trend for 2025 which we are going to see the sixth one is going to be ai in synthetic biology well like i said remember synthetic food you might be eating so yeah ai is designing assets now um constructing new biological parts and devices and systems which is going to contribute towards a multitudes of things behaviors like genetic circuits ai facilities with that uh, helps in creation of organisms with desirable traits helping in advancement of biofuel production sustainable agriculture many things can be done so ai in synthetic biology is one such field which will boom by the end of 2025 and you are going to see it because you are at biotechnica now the next point which i would like to bring up actually one startup already sold their ai in uh, this field and they made 400 crores and this is a, a startup iac incubated startup i met the founder i think 6 uh, months ago and he told me this he had sent his child for uh, training for ai with us so that's how i started talking to him and he said he made a sensor and it was called biosensor for environmental biosensing 
right? That is where the next trend is. Seventh trend for today is AI in environmental biosensing. So what he did is he put these biosensors in the soil, right? And uh, then uh, they could detect, right? They, they could detect the soil moisture and inform the uh, farmer accordingly which plant needs more moisture, which plant needs more watering, which plant needs less watering. So it will help this company will help farmers increase the yield and also save water. Wow! So AI-driven biosensors are being developed, which will detect environmental pollutants, agricultural um, requirements. It will also detect pathogens. It will also help us analyze biological responses to environmental changes. It will also provide us real-time monitoring and early warning systems in the public health. Remember COVID? What happened? Well, we can prevent that. So that is where AI in environmental biosensing is one big field where you can make a lot of money. Like I said, 400 crores that guy made. And you know how what he did? He took up a course of biosensing in IIC. Then he started his company, created this biosensor, sold it to a big agricultural company and then went out with 400 crores. That's what he did. That's what you can do. But you have to learn AI, right? Next one, the eighth point which we have is integration of AI in lab automation. You know, laboratories are so slow. To be very frank, one of the reasons I left wet lab is I hate slow, slow life. Like, you know, I need things faster and it was slow. But thanks to AI, things will be fast now. AI will be able to streamline lab processes, automating routine tasks, optimizing experimental designs, managing large data sets. It will help us integrate uh, and uh, make things more efficient, make, speed things up, allow us to be more focused on research, on solving bigger, complex problems. And companies like BioNTech are already developing AI lab assistants in experimental planning and execution. So you have integration of AI coming in into the laboratory and labs will be automated. I fish, I was born in this era. But you know, never mind, I'm still alive. So yeah, cool. Next one. The ninth one which I have for you is AI in genomic editing now. You know CRISPR, right? But yes. But now we are going to see AI enhancing precision of genomic editing tools such as CRISPR. We will be able to predict off-target effects and then we will be able to optimize the guide RNA designs. We will be uh, able to predict the right place to cut. This will lead to more accurate genetic modifications with reduced mutations and unintended consequences. So that's where AI in genomic editing is one big boon which is going to happen. You mix AI into anything that becomes faster. So here we are talking about mixing CRISPR and AI. Wow, that's amazing. Now the last but not the least is guess what? Telemedicine, right? We have less of doctors, right? So we need AI doctors. So we are going to see more AI uh, companies coming in which will in be into telemedicine, AI powered platforms which will improve telemedicine by providing real-time language translation, real-time symptom checking, real-time personalized advice, health advice, and then thereby expanding access to healthcare access. Startups have already started uh, designing AI-driven tools in this direction to facilitate remote patient monitoring. And also, I know a startup which uh, created cameras, AI cameras, which will, uh, which will reduce the number of doctors in uh, ICU. You know, you know how? Because the camera is monitoring and it will tell which patient requires more attention which patient doesn't require attention so the doctor will go only to that patient so you reduce the number of doctors in icu but still are more efficient imagine the kind of efficiency ai is going to bring in the world of biotech i think now i should tell you the top 10 companies or top 5 companies which got funded recently uh, the first one is antiverse which is a cardiff based startup using ai to design antibodies for drug development They've recently secured a deal with Japan's Nextra to develop AI-designed antibodies. The next one which we have is, I already spoke about this in this video, Existentia, an Oxford-based company automating drug design with AI. And they're listed in NASDAQ already in 2021 and they are continuously attracting a lot of investments. The third one is Helix. Uh, it focuses on using AI to find treatments for rare diseases. Recently, they've got funded for $47 million 
for advancing its AI driven drug discovery platform. Followed by that, of course, BioNTech, you know it. They are developing AI lab assistants to aid in scientific research, experiment planning, and collaborating with they are collaborating with DeepMind to enhance AI applications in the biology. Next we have is InstaDeep, which is which is recently acquired by BioNTech again. InstaDeep specializes in AI solutions for biotechnology, including AI systems for laboratory automation. Then we have Chai Discovery, which is focusing on AI-driven uh, drug discovery by predicting biochemical molecule structures. Recently, they've got $30 million funding from none other than the founders of ChatGPT. You heard me, OpenAI. And then we have Ebridge, which recently got $212 million in funding to enhance healthcare documentation. They are developing AI tools to transcribe patient-doctor interactions for EHR, electro Electronic Health Records. Now, these are some of the startups, notable startups, which got funded recently. Like I said, AI 2025 is going to be the year of AI in biology. But my question to you is, are you ready? If the answer is yes, go ahead, click the link in the description. Enroll yourself for our Sweden-based pharma companies' projects on AI in drug discovery, AI in biology, in cancer biology, in HIV, in uh, neurobiology and stand a chance to be the future of humanity. All the best to all of you and thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining. Bye-bye.